check. Uh, I got a thing for Benzes, throttle engines, hottest lenses, watches in Taraji Henson. Fuck the fame, cause the game breeds phony friendships. All right, man, I'm excited for this video. I'm feeling good. This is a topic I really haven't discussed on this channel much. And I know that may seem kind of odd and almost impossible, but trust me, I haven't made a video about graphic t-shirts really ever. There's a ton that goes into these style tees, the material, the brand, where you got it from, the graphic obviously. So I'm gonna break all that down for you right now. Let's do it. I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite brands. These should be no surprise to you. I've had them in my collection for a while now. I've shown them to you before, but we got Stussy. They've been around for so long. They are one of the original streetwear brands. And a while back I was like, okay, there's so many streetwear brands out there. Let me just choose a few that I really identify with. And Stussy has always spoke to me, you know, the skate and surf background. I like that a lot. So, you know, I've really been rocking with them and I don't mind investing a little bit of money into their t-shirts. They hit anywhere from like 30 to $58. So, you know, certainly expensive, some of them, but you can always catch them on sale. Like any t-shirt brand, especially a streetwear brand, puts tees on sale at some point. This is also a Stussy tee, and I just really like their graphics. Stuff that stands out to me, basketball, skateboarding, fishing, paradise, you know, these tropical settings, all that type of stuff I like. You can buy Stussy tees in a bunch of different places. If I find any sales, I'll be sure to link them down in the description. They fit true to size, in my opinion. Keeping it moving, I got a t-shirt from Bodega, and you'll find that a lot of the big sneaker boutiques are releasing their own clothing. You know, it took a little while for some of these shops to get a good designer in there and release some strong graphics and good cut and sew stuff, but Bodega has consistently been releasing good clothing, and this year they've been dropping a bunch of tees that are fire, in my opinion. It's local to me, so I went in store, tried them on, and I bought a couple. This is one of them. It's the Bodega Wireless Tee. So this one right here is made in the USA. Gotta appreciate that. Nice quality material. It's got a small Bodega Wireless graphic in the front, and then on the back, large and in charge. I don't know why, but this just reminded me of when I had a sidekick and used to go into the T-Mobile store to pay my bill. I don't even know why I was paying my bill in store all the time. What was I thinking? Why was I going in store to pay my bill? Do they not have online payment options? I don't even know. I used to really go into the mall and pay my bill every month. Like That's wild. <laughs> this graphic is a little bit more bold and loud than I typically would wear. This year, I just feel like wearing graphic stuff is really on trend and I'm comfortable with it. So, you know, I had to support my local shop. I got another tee I'll show you guys at a different time. And then I was planning on going back, but they sold out. So if you like something, make sure you don't sleep. Okay, so switching gears a little bit and leaving streetwear, going into the menswear side of things, we've got a polo bear tee. A lot of you have seen these tees. You know, they're in pretty much every polo outlet, every Ralph Lauren store. Polo has been pushing these bear tees a lot. This one's from the outlet, and you know, there's nothing wrong with buying a polo t-shirt or anything from the outlet for that matter. I buy a lot of stuff there. You know, you can try it on, it makes it easy. There's always a sale. I got this a few weeks back. It retailed for 40 bucks. I think I paid like high 20s, like 28, 29 or something like that. So obviously it's in this fun summertime yellow color and then you've got the beach vibes with the bear just ready to break out a beach volleyball game. This tee is definitely something I'll be wearing a lot. It's just a distinct polo item and it's classic and I don't think that they're gonna go out of style. Okay, next up I got a little side part for you guys because this is an important topic and I kinda wanted to cut it out from the rest of the video. This is not a specific brand or anything like like that. This is pretty much talking about thrifting shirts or buying cheap tourist location type shirts. So this is totally different. It's no secret that you can buy great t-shirts of all different kinds at a thrift store. That's probably gonna be your best place to find a unique variety that's cheap. So if you're on a budget and you're not hitting up thrift stores and you like those style tees, I don't know what you're doing. So I thrifted this Florida tee right here. 
I don't know how old it is, but I just love the graphic in the front. It's an older jersey blank tee, but it's made in the USA. There really wasn't anyone that had worn this tee. It looked brand spanking new. So a lot of people go to the thrift store and they want stuff that's been washed. It looks like it's vintage and it's old. I kind of go the opposite direction. I know that sounds kind of crazy. I want to find an old t-shirt that doesn't have much wear to it. And that kind of stuff is really hard to get your hands on, but it does exist. Trust me. People buy t-shirts in bulk or when they're traveling and they just never wear it and then eventually they donate it. You'd be surprised how many newish t-shirts pop up at the thrift store that are still old. Stuff that's like five or ten years old. Anyway, I have no idea how old this thing is, but the design is really what sold me. I love the palm trees, the sunset, the font of the Florida logo on the top. And that's the next thing I want to talk about. Location tees, state tees, souvenir t-shirts, stuff that really isn't made to be worn in a streetwear way, but that's kind of the way I've been liking to wear these style t-shirts. This next one behind me is a New Hampshire t-shirt. I got this when I was up at Lake Winnipesaukee, which I'm going to again this weekend. I'm definitely gonna try to grab another one of these. This is from Walmart. So if you're ever in a random location and you wanna find a good graphic state t-shirt, check out Walmart. My brother is actually the one that put me onto this, so shout out to you, Nick. He's like, we gotta hit up the local Walmart and see what they have for tees. I was like, what? Walmart for t-shirts? That is one thing that I never really thought I was gonna do, but here I am talking about it in a video. So it's got this cool hummingbird and floral design at the top and it says New Hampshire down at the bottom. I wore this in a couple lookbooks and I got messages and emails from people asking me where they could get this exact t-shirt. I didn't think anyone was gonna care. Wherever you travel this summer, go check out a Walmart or a tourist location or wherever and check out the t-shirts. Go for some pigment dyed tees or anything that has a cool font or graphic design on the front. Definitely do that while you're traveling this summer. I know that's not necessarily a brand, so I'm gonna mention a few other ones. Carhartt Work in Progress, definitely check out their stuff. Jordan and Nike, surprisingly, has been putting out a lot of good graphic tees, so check there. But let's keep it moving because I got one more brand to show you guys, and I have bought a ton of t-shirts from them already this summer. Okay, so getting back to the streetwear side of things, this brand has been killing it. I recently dropped over 100 bucks on their tees, easily. Every release they've had, I've seen at least four or five tees and other items that I've wanted. You guys know Undefeated is definitely one of the best sneaker shops around. Huge in California, but they also make amazing t-shirts, in my opinion. I actually have never been to one of their stores, which is crazy. I gotta get out to California in general just to hang out there, but that's another conversation. Their clothing recently though is just so fire. This one is in this orange apricot color with a university type logo. This one though is a little bit different. Obviously it's black and it's got this gradient undefeated logo, but then the back, check that out. This is one of the coolest graphics I've seen on a t-shirt recently. So you got a basketball player about to throw it down in black and white, and then you also have that same script undefeated logo at the bottom here. This is definitely one of my favorite newest t-shirt pickups, I would say, and I've been waiting to break these out because pastel colors this summer, they're huge as well. So say you've got some shoes that have like this pinkish purple color, this tee right here is a nice accent to those shoes. So be sure to let me know which one of these t-shirts you guys like the best. What are some brands that you guys are wearing this summer? Leave it down in the comment section. Put us on to some newer or older brands that you've been wearing that we should check out. There's so many that are out there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. A lot more summer content is on the way. I keep saying that because it's true and I keep bringing these summer videos. So if you've missed any of them, make sure you go check them out. We're going to end it with a summer lookbook. So keep an eye out for that one. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.